So uh, I'm in early because uh, I I think I've something's gone in my arm basically. Right now it's really painful. It's really quite hard to talk to you. Right, good morning from the scenic location that is the Buckmore Park briefing room, otherwise known as our home now for the next, I don't know, 25, 26 hours. We're about three, four hours for the race and doing all our pre-race prep, which we'll get into in a second. Behind me, where is he? There he is. That there is Jamie. Say hello to Jamie. He's going to be uh, doing some nice shots as opposed to my really sort of like shaky <laughs> vlog shots, which I think you guys are somewhat bored of by now. Um, so yeah, just getting set up, let's go have a little peek at what Luke is doing because Luke has basically been slaving away since he arrived. I try this bit, I look unprepared. I mean, what do you mean? <laughs> What's going on Luke? Walk us through it. Um, we want to be able to talk to each other for 24 hours because it gets pretty lonely. And also, uh, I, I forgot my pit board. So hopefully the radios work. We've tested them. They work so far. Um, so at the moment we have a motorbike helmet kit which will go into each helmet there and with a little microphone and then each driver has their own one of these which I've named because I care um, <laughs> and then yeah basically throughout the race if they want to talk to us there's a little button that clips on the steering wheel and they can just tell us what they want or they can tell us to shut up because well I might talk too much um, and then yeah we'll, we'll go from there so I'll sit here for most of the next two days there's going to be a solid like Luke sort of arse crevice in that sofa towards the end. Oh, um, I've got to build a new groove! Um, but let me show you these radios, this is some next level loop preparation. So look, all down here, all named nice and lovely. There's mine at the back, the Jimmy radio! This is by far the most prepared we've been for a 24, by like a long way. Want some wet kecks? I think Emily's going to kill you if you keep that up. Just There's something a... I ate this morning. What did you do? Can we... Basically, these are still wet, so... Um, I'm going to be going out and filling a little bit. Mick Hanks are wet! Uh, oh. Hello viewers. Yeah. Hello viewers. Have you seen our setup? Look at this. Let's have a look. We've got the couch, we've got the radio. How you doing Mick? Good to see you. We've got Emily. Radio check. Hello. Radio check. All good? Radio check! I'm trying to get After the briefing, we all got suited and got ready for the 90 minute practice session that will precede the 24 hour race. We had to change park then. They both, they both felt a bit off to me. But. Um, so we're in Pratt at the moment and it's the time for us to sort of check out the car and make sure it's alright because usually in rental fleets they're pretty similar but sometimes, you know, in a fleet of 27 sometimes one maybe is a bit off. Uh, Steve I think, I think got that so he's come in, changed his car over, has gone back out now um, just to see if that one's a bit better but uh, yeah, this is what Pratt is for really, just get uh, acclimatised to our equipment for the day and to the circuit. So uh, I'll be out after Chris, who's down there now, uh, which is why I'm all suited up with my little uh, pusher talk here, I call it that. And yeah, looking forward to it. It's uh, looking really nice out there now, so I've got to try and get into the 49s, I think. That's the goal. Alright, we got down to a 50 dead, which yeah. is not too far off, like top five, top six pace. So. Yeah, top five lap at least, so yeah. I'm happy with that. Okay. So this is our weapons drone, we're going to fire those sorts of missiles at the opposing teams, uh, only if we have to, hopefully we'll be in the lead and we won't have to, just in case, you know, just in case. Alright, everyone's uh, being a bit heroic for some reason, I'm not quite sure why, people are lunging on me and then like going off the circuit, so I mean let them do it I guess, but it's not really a good attitude to have for a 
24 hour race. Uh, yeah, all right, the cart's a bit hoppy. But I think that might also be me launching it over the curb, so. I'm not sure what the time was, but it felt okay. We'll see for the race, I guess. This is the most depressing shit I've ever seen in my life. What is that? I think that's, a, that's an old tire. That's an old tire that's come off that. Can we get a review, Jimmy? Take a bite. Oh, right, okay. Draw bent review. That doesn't look. So Gordon Much, this, this lad right here, he's going to be doing our quali. Oh, fuck! The quick lad, uh, hopefully. So, thing is though, because it goes straight from practice into quali, um, we've just sort of just left our cart for a bit because we're all happy, but it's going to be a bit cold. So, we're just going to go out a few minutes early, sort of get the tyres warm so he gets the maximum 15 minutes. Off he goes. Good luck, Gordy. Love you. Hello. Yeah, so basically, right now, um, we are only a couple of places ahead in qualifying of the uh, the other content creator team and that would be an unforgivable loss for Gordy if we don't get the time in. They're called Senior Frogs and they are actually beating us at the moment! Gordy, will you get your shit together mate? Yeah, you're going to be on the same round of grid. We're, we're, I'm having a discussion. We're having a, a frank discussion after this. We're going to get put into bloody rookie at this point. Oh, you were headless for a long time. No, we were yeah, not. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Start off. Chris MD! What did he say? Shit, yeah, we are. Yeah. 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 Well, 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 he put it in, he put it in. We see him set a 50.4 My god. Come on, Chris. Come on, Chris. Jimmy getting bantered off the frogs there. Gordy is sleeping on the sofa tonight, alright? <laughs> I think, I don't know. I, I, it's easy to say you've got like a bad car, but I don't know if we have. I just don't know if like... I mean, to be fair, the gap between us and the, the best time is half a second, and we are 13th. So, stupid tight. But long, long race, and these are all the best drivers out now, and we're pretty much all the same pace, so hopefully we'll move forward. It would be nice to start inside the top 10. So, like, what do you reckon? Like, what, what's, what are you going to say? No rear end grip. No rear end grip. Uh, no engine power? No engine power, what do you reckon? I reckon I'm going to go with no front end. No front end. Luke, Traffic. what do you reckon uh, the excuse is going to be? Too much front end. Alright. I'm being kind because I actually think there is too much front end. Let's see. Let's, let's find out. Let's see who wins. Yeah, they look happy, do they? Rear end. Yeah. It just said like, coming, coming down the hill like over here and it just doesn't have it doesn't have to drive out the corner and it just doesn't have to grip in the rear end on the hairpins. Okay. Uh, we can we can maybe ask to give us our first one back, but I don't think they will. So basically, to sort of explain that, you're allowed to switch your cart once in practice. We did, and we think we've got a worse cart than we started with. Um, so it would be nice to sort of go back to the other one, but he's not happy. But as I said, engine power and rear end, so we've got some withers upstairs. If we're ended up going from the back, I don't know. I don't think it, I don't think starting the back is much of an issue. It's just how good the car will be. So that's the unknown. At least yeah. we know what we've got. You know, it's a few tenths off, it but drivable? it's not. Yeah, it, it, it's drivable. It's just annoying to drive because you can, you can, you the can, rear end. Can you, can yeah, you rear, rear, rear right? end. Second, second hairpin's bad, and then here uphill hairpin. Yeah, but is that going to get yeah. better as time goes on? Cause yeah, the front, the front the tires front. are going to start moving away a bit. Yeah. Yeah, it might get a little bit better. We're still not quite got the speed in that car. So basically just now we're having a bit of a chat about whether to change car or not. We don't know if it was an option, but we're thinking about it because Cordy's sort of reporting it being fairly slow in the straight, which is not good. And also having a little bit of like rear end sliding, which means that you can't really chuck it into a corner. So it's a, I don't know, it's a bit, it's a bit tricky to, to get the most out of. So in the end, we just decided to keep the one we have because it's a known quantity and we don't know if we're going to get another one or not anyway and just hope it comes to us over the course of the race. 24 hours is a long time, and all those other cliche things you say for endurance races. Long race. <laughs> <laughs> this guy? Who's that handsome guy? This guy? I don't know. I mean, Jimmy keeps getting his head in the way, but... Can't have it all. Who was that? Ah, <laughs>
Hello. So if you didn't know by now, our team is as follows. Ed and Chris Bridal, who also drive a Praga in Praga Cup. My Praga teammate, Gordy Much, and some YouTuber guy called Steve. As well as Luke here in his 80-year-old karting suit, and myself. Are you ready? <laughs> so that's our lineup, but it was Gordy that was going to be taking the race start, given that, as he kept reminding us, he was an ex-national champion. So who better to start us off in one of the biggest karting races in the UK. And just like that, the Union flag dropped and it was race start for 24 hours of karting at Buck. <laughs> Turn one, the number 10 leading in the early stages. Yeah, that was a great start as well from uh, South Coast Racing, making their way up a couple of positions, getting up the inside, going in towards the first turn. But here come Loughborough Legends and Neil up the inside, and they have taken the early lead. But it's all really shaping up very nicely. It's, it's, we didn't tell them it was a 24 hour race, didn't we? Already the top three look like they're up for this. Yeah, it's Pierce Bryant. <laughs> yeah, he was uh, nice and aggressive there. He had actually uh, a good launch. None of the cars behind him were past him to start, so game three, uh, good start, we didn't crash, that's the main thing, so just to settle down, get going, you know. You see Gordy Much in the middle of it all there in the pink helmet uh, with the Fanatec suit in the number eight, that's Jimmy Broadbent's Team 87 squad, and Will Enney as well in the number 27, Senor Frogs entry as well, but one lap completed then here at Buckmore Park, everything going on in the midfield. But Pierce Pryor and the look of the legends and Neil, of course, will be very, very happy with that. Yeah, really nice, really nice start there from Gordy. Uh, up to P9, looking like he's starting to pull up to P8 as well. There's a little bit of a scrap behind him, which is sort of helping out a little bit. You can see on the strengths, it's not quite, um, not quite, uh, not quite there. But uh, everywhere else, cars looking quick, he's looking good, and uh, yeah, I mean, perfect start for us, really. Right now, we're basically coming up to the pit window. We don't know how long these cars are going to go. We have to, because we're not, uh, we don't quite have the pace, we have to go for as long as possible, really, uh, and just try and get rid of the pit stop over the course of the race, and hopefully that will help us out a little bit. Um, so I'm standing here right now. Stuffy, I can hear you. So we're just now waiting um, at the fuel bay, and uh, Luke's going to say to me, basically give me a signal and say, right, any time from now, I'm going to tell him the fuel bay is open, he'll tell Corley to pit, that's how it's going to be. Um, it's a little bit convoluted, but it's the best we've got at the moment. <laughs> What we didn't know, though, is that Gordy was suffering with motion sickness whilst out driving. Butmore was recently repaved, so it was a lot bumpier than it used to be, and it was taking its toll on Gordy, who, looking back, gave a heroic effort to keep going, despite the fact that he said that he could barely talk without wanting to throw up. It was, however, having an effect with Gordy missing the fuel bay on the way in, having to go out and complete another lap, losing us a ton of time. Three hours in, you're ahead of teammate seven out at field. No, we're not. No, we're not. We're not. You're not? No. No. And you double stop. Superior. Yes, I can't believe it. Got your footage, you're happy. I came over to let you gloat in it. So uh, that's the, the first thing done for Gordy, and it didn't really go too well, to be honest. In fact, now I think we are in a direct fight with the. Uh, yeah, we're like, we've just overtaken the number 27, so we're ahead of them again. We're ahead of the Sideman team, so I can, I can feel fucking... Okay. All right. <laughs> so our goal now is to make sure we beat them. So we've got um, Chris in the car now. Chris used to work here, um, so knows it pretty well. Just gonna keep going around now, I guess, and hope for the best. Let's uh, show us your race strategy. <laughs> <laughs> angry, angry man. <laughs> it does feel a bit nicer, actually, a bit softer. Yeah, just run it. So, uh, when you've had a really bad stint, you get taken behind the, uh, the little awning there. No one knows what goes on back there, but I hear screams. <laughs> Look, can you uh, turn me on, mate? How do I do that? Oh, you put that in there. So I put, I put the thing in the thing, and then I, I screw this, yeah? Screw it, yeah, mate. Yeah, screw it. A bit slower, though, if you don't mind. Okay, oh, there it's you. quite tight. What are you doing? Chris, get on the circuit, you shit. <laughs> Jimmy! Oh, right, mate. Oh. 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 
So after Chris's stint, it was time for yours truly, the man with the big bunda, to have his go in the cart. Uh, we were running about P10, P11 at the time, and just really trying to get into some sort of rhythm. We'd already sort of accepted that we weren't going to be fighting for a podium in the race. We were just focused on going around cleanly and not picking up any black flags. No silly mistakes like that. <laughs> so, uh, so, Chris, mate, when you watch this, um, you were... You were an icon. You were a hero to me. And after that, you're down on the floor, you're nothing. Yeah, Chris, like, honestly, this is not good enough. We thought better of you. Yes, sir. <laughs> and away, Jimmy Gordon goes. 20 minutes and 10 minutes. Uh, sorry, 20 hours and 10 minutes on the clock. And apart from that, that unfortunate black flag for Chris Bradle, that was a really good scene. And that now shows that that cart can do two hours. Oh, as what has no. happened here, that He's is the race leader. He's overshot the, the fuel bay, is what's happened there. So, well, he's, so he's, he was signalled there. He had to go around again. I actually had a pretty difficult time out there uh, on my stint. I really like Batmore. I love driving around it. I love these little hire carts. Uh, you know, they're a bit heavy, but they're fun to chuck around. But we just didn't seem to have any speed anywhere. Uh, apparently, I was doing decent lap times, according to the guys on the radio. But I felt like I was doing terribly. I just felt like I was being overtaken again and again and again. I just couldn't quite figure out why. Regardless, though, my pace was actually good to those around me. So I managed to hold position fairly well and didn't get any black flags. I'm like that pesky Chris Bridle. Number three, oh, he's coming, he's coming, he's coming. <laughs> At the end of the stint, we tried to stretch the fuel as long as possible to the point where I was actually forced to come in and stack behind somebody in front. If you don't know, you can only fuel one cart at a time at Butmore, so coming in behind someone is automatic time loss. But we stretched the tank to 2 minutes 15 when we were told in the briefing that going to 2 hours is already pushing it. What is it, a book? Sorry. Oh shit, okay. Ugh. How terrible. There's no... There's no traction anywhere. So for the, uh, the entirety of that stint, the can box fell down into my face and slapped me in the face. Quite comical if it wasn't happening to me. Um, but yeah, somewhat distracting, unfortunately. I'm gonna go hobble back up there now. No, you were fucking consistent. You were as good, really good, mate. And we're back on two hour stints. Fuck. It's so achy after that. Like, I forgot how painful this shit is. Like, I just. After about half an hour, you know, you, you keep looking at the time going, oh, is there any time, you know, how, how long left? And I swear it goes up. I swear it goes up every time. Um, I honestly felt like I, I was the worst sense <laughs> of my life there, but apparently <laughs> it was all right. We just got that flag. We did? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what, we just got one. Sure? Yeah, yeah, I just saw it pop up. Well, I don't know why they've got a black flag unless Steve's hit someone and then got a penalty. Because I only ever got one. That's, that's the fastest penalty ever. <laughs> Straight to the fucking realm. You sure it wasn't 18? No, it said, it said 87, said our name. Anyway, um, we're P9, probably P10 now after that. Um, yeah, I just I just felt like oh, just terrible. Apparently it was okay though, apparently the stint was alright. Um, times are alright. I don't it just felt like I had a puncture so or something. I don't know what it was, but uh, in the end we got into this weird situation where, like, we had to try and stretch the fuel as long as possible. I think it, how, how long was it on fuel in the end for, for me? Two hours fifteen. You did. Two hours fifteen, um, because the fuel bay kept filling up with me every time we, we went in, which is you know kind of typical because we are we were on the hour, um, but maybe we could have got another lap or two, but. 
My arms hurt, my back hurts, my soul hurts. Just need to eat a lot of food. <laughs> Leave me alone! <laughs> Let me go! Where are you going? Where are you going? I'm, 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 seeing as the stint was bad, I now have to go into the, the, the punishment suite. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus! <laughs> um, you mentioned two years. After inhaling about 5,000 calories, I went into the commentary booth for a bit to have a chat with the guys at Alpha Live. Mainly, to be honest, help myself stay awake. I had been up since about 5am that morning, and after having the shit beaten at me by a cart, I was quite ready to go to bed. The, the, there hasn't been anyone that's been, I think, done for curbboardings yet, because no one's doing it, because it hurts. Yeah, we've <laughs> we've had, had one. one. I've had one, one. okay. So well, they're still walking afterwards, so... Well, <laughs> look we, like we, it. Not everyone. <laughs> no, we did. So, uh, just had a look outside, and we had uh, like a big, big bit of rain. Big, little, I say a big shower of rain, but it seems to have already stopped. Can I see that already? Let's have another look. But basically, the, the track's gone from being a 51 second circuit to a 104, 103 second circuit. But yeah, it seems that the rain's already stopped, but like, just, some, just something nice to spice up Steve's stint. <laughs> He would appreciate that. Oh, I'm achy, I'm achy. Um, so yeah, it rained a, a bit ago, and which was actually a really good thing because in the dry, we haven't, we haven't got the pace. In the wet, however, Steve is out there just, well, being a bad man. Uh, I think he's the fastest car on track, uh, or joint fastest with the current sort of leaders. So we have just gained a ton of time on the guys around. It's gained a place up to P9 now. Um, every lap taking seconds out of the cart in front. What we really need now is a bit more rain um, because it stopped pretty much instantly but because it's so cold, it's, it's night now, there's no wind or anything, the tractor's going to stay greasy for a very long time so um, Ed here who's out next has basically just been saying rain more, he wants more rain so um, I don't want any rain so if it can do all the rain whilst I'm not in the cart, great um, but if it helps us overnight then I'm all for it. All of a sudden though, we had to rush down to the pit lane because Steve had run out of fuel. This was thoroughly confusing to us because we know that the cart can go over two hours in the dry and yet in a stint that was half in the wet, Steve had run out just before the two hour mark. All we can think is that the people who filled our cart didn't fill it all the way because there's no way we would have used more fuel in that stint. Just run out. Just run out mate. Where do you run? There. Huh? Where did it stop? It was started running out, coming out hairpin two. Yeah. Well, going into hairpin one, I felt the first bit, and then going down the hill it was like dead, and I just managed to creep up the hill right here. It was gone. I don't know. I don't know why. It was, it was wet. So yeah, I was thinking that. I was like, you went, you went just over two hours. You went at the same time as me. They you must went, not have fueled it. Yeah. Anyway. That's what we got our account for then. Yeah. Good stint though. We didn't lose a lot of time for that, did we? Must have a little bit, they couldn't oh, die yeah. again. Shame mate, that was really good. That was really good. I mean, I lost, I lost everything I gained. Yeah. So we have 15 hours and 20 something minutes to go and I am tapping out, I'm going for a nap. Um, I'm gonna try and get some sleep, try and help my body recover a bit and uh, go from there. We're gonna try and ask race control of the possibility of changing our cart during service because it is just fucked. And to be honest, if it's worse than this, then it doesn't really matter anyway. But um, I don't think they're going to say yes. It's always worth asking though. Um, but at the minimum, we're going to ask them to look at the rear because it, the rear left, especially, feels like, well, some don't feel right. Um, so it's just one of those things. Might have clouded the curb too hard early on or something. I don't really know. But everyone's saying exactly the same thing. So um, we'll ask them. But yeah, for now, time for Tubby Bye Bye. Rest, sweet prince. So after my quitter ass went to bed, Jamie, the uh, cameraman, an absolute goat, basically kept filming all through the night. So I hope you enjoy this footage, and Jamie, I owe you several thousand beers. 20 minutes, 20 minutes? Yeah. About 20 minutes before the end as I came up the hill. The cart started cutting in and out, which is generally a fuel surge, which is you go up the hill, the fuel goes to the back of the tank, so yeah, not ideal, especially 20 minutes before we wanted to pit, which hopefully won't put us out of sequence, but apart from that the stint was okay, got some laps back on some other carts, so yeah, hopefully we don't run out of fuel again. It's JV. I'm telling it, mate. Is he? Yeah. Yeah. Have you, got, have you, got, have you got anything to say? Hey, Jimmy, you soft son, eh? <laughs> this is supposed to be your gig. 
This is a hotel. This is pretty much a hotel. Shocking. Uh, you've lost the shed, right? This all it's all gone to your head now. Hello, Jimmy. It's just gone one in the morning. Quick update. Uh, Luke's doing the best that he can. There's not a lot of pace in the cart, to be honest. Um, he's sort of mid to high 51s. Leaders are doing like low 50s he needs still. Needs to pull his finger out. He needs to pull his finger out, exactly. Well well said. Ed. Ed, <laughs> Ed yeah. <laughs> um, so he's got an hour left, basically. He's done not quite half his stint. And we're dropping big time. He was P11 when he went out, went out P13. <laughs> oh, fucking hell. And the next cart down from us is Senior Frogs. No, no. <laughs> I'm not even fucking joking. <laughs> so yeah, that's the state of affairs at the moment. Um, the gap to Senior Frogs, who are lapping quicker than us by about half a second a lap at the moment, is exactly a lap. Exactly a lap. So I hope, <coughs> I hope that uh, Luke can hold them off at least, but yeah, there's, there's no sugar coat in it, he's struggling a bit, and they're quicker, so... Hopefully, by the time you get here, there won't be a threat, but right now they are. A little bit of drama, Lusbra Legends um, have run out of fuel on track. So they were running on the lead lap, I think they were second, not very long ago. Um, and now they're plummeting, I think they've just made it back to the pits, have just been you towed. Wet. But uh, Huh? Are you in the wet? Shit up. I don't know, I've done a lot of laps around there, which is lucky. I, yeah, it's difficult around here, there's like a real knack to it. In the rain there in is. In a corporate cart in the rain on slicks, it's nothing like anything, like any yeah. driving on wet, it's like a real knack to it. So, um, yeah, just been done a lot, lot of laps, but it took me a long time to get fast. Um, I love it coming in the rain, it's great fun isn't it? It's amazing how much grip the slicks actually have. Yeah, it's weird though, I've chatted to a few other teams who are in the same boat, like it just they swapped car, um, it's Goldsmith's team, and they're saying the same thing, like the rears, and they even said following us, you can just see how much it's moving and like rotating, but what can you do? Update, it is currently, well, it's that long left in the race. It's 10 to 2, meaning Luke has 20 minutes left of his stint for this man. Jumps in the car. Hello. Gets us up from where are we at? 30? We're 11th. 11th moment, now. So I reckon I'll be happy with 8th, 7th or 8th. But we'll have to get a lap back, two laps back. But yeah, we're getting there. We're chipping away. Got your hands prepped, I see. Yeah. Uh, I work in an office a lot of the time, so I get blisters quite easily. <laughs> Plastered up. Um, yeah, see how we get on. I was hoping for some rain. I just not going to get any rain anymore, so it's a bit of a shame. Full sense. Do not Trof get caught by the side. Trophies or trees. <laughs> Trophies or trees. <laughs> Herculean effort there from team captain Luke Jones. Fucking shit show, mate. I hope that they find out whatever the hell is wrong with that car at service again. We're not even halfway through yet. That's no, no, we are half. No, we 12 hours and 6 minutes. Oh dear fucking lord. Hello Jimmy. It's just gone 3am in the morning. I'm not going to lie. I'm very fucking tired. But the update is maintenance stop done. P17 at the moment and I don't know what has happened in that maintenance stop but we've suddenly gone from no pace at all to being quickest on track basically one of the quickest carts on track. Uh, we've already gone purple since the maintenance stopped, so our now our quickest lap of the race is a 50.1, uh, which is reasonably competitive, to be fair. If you look at the team in, sort of even as high as third and fourth and fifth, team in P6 at the minute, their best laps are 50.2. Um, I'm trying to be a bit quiet, because people are resting and asleep. But uh, yeah, things are going better, so... What have we got? We've got an hour until Steve's stint, roughly. Um, hour and 15. But, um, yeah, Chris out there doing an unbelievable job at the moment. Absolutely flying. And uh, we're back ahead of uh, Senior Frog, who've done their maintenance stop now as well. So, And the four laps down us, so less of a threat than they were sort of an hour ago. Quarter to four. 
in the morning. 10 hours and 42 minutes left to go in the race. Steve's out next. He's got about 20 minutes to get here from the hotel, assuming he's not sound asleep and enjoying himself, if that is the case. Then Luke's woke up Gordy, who's going to be jumping in. Uh, worst case scenario. Uh, let's do a quick check on the rest of the team. How are we doing? How are we feeling? Should we have a check on uh, Gordy? He's been asleep for about 18 hours yeah. so far. Oh, there he is. Look at that face. Can't wait to get back out there. Can't wait. <laughs> he loves it. He fucking loves it. It's me. What the fuck has happened? Oh, I ran out of fuel as well. <laughs> and with 20 minutes left to go. But I didn't oh I didn't stop on track. I came up the to go boop, boop. So I just pulled in, but Luke wasn't ready. Because obviously we still have about 20 minutes. How long was your stint? About an hour 40. Exactly the same Literally year. everything that's gone that could go wrong has gone wrong. But multiple times. We've got good news. We've done the pit stop and we're now the quickest car out there. I was gonna say, we've I done like a fifty point one or something. Oh, right. I just sleep Steve. Like an hour and a half. Awful. I'm in the shadow realm basically. <laughs> uh, this is the grim reality of a twenty four hour race and having bad stints as well. This would be a good one though, that's quick. Yeah. 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 Can you just tune it down a bit? You're a bit too enthusiastic at the moment. As you can tell, I'm really looking forward to this. Five. Four. I can't hear that. Oh, yeah, I can hear that. Look at the commitment of this captain right here. How are we doing, Luke? Looking good. Looking good. Ah. Great. It is early. Uh, it is about half five in the morning and I'm out next. So I just need a fresh face and wide eyed. God, I want to die. I still feel absolutely battered from the sin yesterday. A uh, combination of the insert not really fitting properly and the cam box beating the shit out of my face because it fell off the Velcro. I'm feeling quite sore. So I'm going to just go out there and just try and keep the car going around. Yeah. Gonna smash a banana. <laughs> and then get out of there, I guess, so we'll go. After that late night enthusiasm, we're back in the morning and I set out for my second and last stint here at the Butmore 24. But after only five or six laps whilst trying to get up to speed and trying to find the pace of the cart that Chris had found overnight, I hit a drain cover and felt something go in my elbow. And I don't really know how to describe this apart from it felt like something cracked or snapped or stretched. You know, it was very odd. But the result was that I no longer had any strength in my right arm and I was driving with one hand, which for anyone who's driven a high cart will know, ain't it? The pain quite quickly became a big issue and I had no choice but to box only half an hour into my stint. I'm in early. Yeah, Luke, can you repeat, please? Because uh, I, I think I've something's gone in my arm, basically, or whatever occurred. Sorry, your radio is not clear, but to keep you informed, we are and, here uh, P11, P11, my elbow just went. Just I don't. <laughs> and uh, I drove about ten laps like this. I like it right now. It is really painful. It's really quite hard to talk to you. Um, Gordy's gone to go fetch a medic. But basically, my gamer arms were not able to keep up with real life, it seems, but... Oh my god, it's, it's so Hello? funny. I think I was just tired of not having attention on me as a YouTuber, so I thought I'd just 
try to sort it out, you know? <laughs> yeah, would not recommend. It's not it, but Gordy's been a good lad. Gone to go fetch someone to have a look at it. I've not tried to get out of the suit yet. Gaming. <laughs> this is what gaming does, isn't it? Yeah. So apparently, I've um, uh, something on the funny bone, like the tendon around there, says so might have like a, a small, a small tear in it or something, which is a nice thing to hear in the morning. I'm really glad I woke up for this. Actually. <laughs> um, so um, no more driving for me, which is actually like a blessing and a curse because uh, the blessing is that the car is cursed. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, so. It's a bit of a shame, really, because um, you know well, you want to do your bit for the team, and now I've got to sort of pick up the slack. But um, at the same time, fuck, fuck you guys. You <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Chris Bryan for four hours didn't come. I've got to do six hours now. <laughs> Head over there, Ed. You're, you're making fun of of an injured person. Potentially. <laughs> He's not convinced, you. Yeah, to be confirmed. No, I'm gonna do it at the end of this. I'm gonna do like the orange justice on full that the, just the arms everywhere. So I was. We'll get to the checkered flag. Along. After me, Chris and Gordy have done about like, seven hours between us, and he'll be cartwheeling down the main straight or something. <laughs> Slink off the job, mate. Slink on the well done, guys. <laughs> Thanks a lot for that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wave it as he leaves the car park. <laughs> oh mate. Grim. Um, so basically, my job now is to. I think a morale officer. Team support. Yeah. Team mascot, like a dog or something. Um, so, yeah, I mean, to be honest, that's what I'm good for anyway, so we'll do that. So, uh, Ed is currently changing his visor uh, on the, uh, on the, um, the, th it was definitely my idea as team advisor slash morale specialist because it's a bit sunny out there now. And, uh, man wants his sunglasses. What the fuck happened? I, uh, went over a, a curb and was or something in my elbow. Oh fuck. Man. So now I feel like a fucking hero for a bit. You Jesus know. Christ. Oh well. Anyway. What have you done? Can you Yeah, sure. Oh, oh, what, what's this, mate? Hey. <laughs> Easy! <laughs> yeah, good. Uh, managed to get fourth. We're fourth in class now. Really? Oh, yeah, nice, yeah. Sixth was ahead of us and he went in for the pit and he came out literally just ahead of me. I've done him on the first corner. I think I put like six cars between us. So, have you, um, are you anywhere near the podium? Nah, I'm not too sure. I mean, let's have a look. The next car up the road is us. Yeah. You better fuck off. So we are. <laughs> we are. Yeah, we're a couple laps off of uh, C7M. So I don't think we'll get podium. Oh, that, 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 that's a black. That's a black flag. That's yeah, a, I know, I know, I know. Nothing, a lot can happen in five. Well, apparently, they, they just got two. Uh, they got two warnings in the last ten minutes. So. Yeah. But that, from, be great. from having that, from having like the five lap delay earlier to get back to four, I'll take it. Yeah, I'll take it. But my that session then, I was pushing really hard. I'm battered. I'm absolutely battered. So that would do it. The track limit is what you have to have for those of you who uh, weren't here. So, Ed's just done a stint. We're just basically I've been out the window, just waiting for him to um, to come in to sort of make sure the fuel. Um, Box is open, uh, and now Gordy's going to get in. Hopefully, only one more stop to the end. We're in the top ten. We're fighting for the top ten now, so that's like our goal. Top ten. If we can get to top ten, that'll be a banging result. I think we did this in the night. We did actually. But yes. again, I'm going again because I thought I was done. But no. What happened, Jimmy? I just wanted a break. I thought I didn't think he'd done enough work, so. Uh, I'll send him out there again. It's good than me. Jimmy went for the diva lifestyle of a famous YouTuber, and he thought, "No, I've had enough now, so I'll let the mere mortals carry the load." So I'm doing three cents now, which is pretty good. Thank you, mere mortal. That's right, Jimmy. What's going on? Um, 26, who is racing, and 24, who is also racing, because both of them tried to find me, are now busy firing each other 
and we need to pass 24 on track. We're just going over the time it now, and it very much looks like we have a chance at catching the, uh, yeah. the guys ahead of the P9. We're currently in 10th, top 10 is our goal. Uh, but Gordy is a lot quicker than the guy in front and is just a lot better in traffic. We think our strategy is better as well and the guys in front are on their last warning for trap limits. So if they go off one more time, they get a black flag, which will pretty much be a lap. So um, we have something to fight for, P9, which will still be uh, my, well, personally my best finish in the uh, Battle 24 overall. So um, yeah, I guess something to look forward to now after hours of basically just waiting for something to happen. Hi, mate. Have fun. Hello, mate. Chris. Oh, there goes all hope. <laughs> Final change for Team 87. Gordy Much gets out, and I think is it going to be Chris? Uh, Bridal getting he in. He was waiting in the pit lane there, and away he goes. And whilst we were talking to Jimmy earlier, he did give us a little bit of a wave in the commentary box and then swiftly left. <laughs> so uh, he was definitely getting ready for his stint, which he will be taking the chequered flag. And, well, a lot has been thrown at Team 87 today, hasn't it? Uh, Chris, better not set it down, mate, or I'm going to take it out on it. <laughs> <laughs> I did good today. You don't take it out of me. Well, he must have done well, dude. That was awesome. That was a good time. That was a good time. Um, oh, it's alright, isn't it? Yeah, it's not, good. It's not awful, but... It's I enjoyed that. I really okay. enjoyed that. Are you feeling sick this time? Huh? Are you feeling sick? No, no, no. No, no, not even a hint of it. Like, I could do another two hour stint right now. Oh, go back out? Fuck off, then, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we doing it? We should have done Yeah. But the problem is they've, they've put in a quick guy for the end, so I mean Gordy was a tiny bit quicker, but not enough to really catch him, so we're sort of now hoping they're going to get some sort of penalty. Um, still P10, but it's one P9, something's going to happen ahead of us. Chris, mate. Chris, we told you not to go get a penalty. <laughs> what do you go do? Get a penalty. It's the black flag for us, that pretty much uh, sort of signals an end to our charge for ninth, unless something drastic happens um, but the luckily for us there's a fair gap behind so it shouldn't affect us too much but it's what it is it is what it is also uh, the guys next door Sideman and pals gave us a little drinky so cheers guys I'm not driving anymore by the way just to, <laughs> just to put that there and make that clear editing aside we're gonna actually go and support Chris for a bit now it's five minutes left in the race or so uh, the times look like they're fairly well nothing's gonna really change really hopefully the top 10 uh, which is something so time to go i guess so last lap right now one more lap that'll be p10 for us which is well my pp anyway in the butt more 24. Yeah, i've clapped and my arm would fall off so let's do that <laughs> Not bad, P10 dude, that's how we do it. Right, after many things, somehow we come over in top 10. Didn't expect that really, when we got to midnight, so happy of that. Oh, 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 P10 in the end. Oh, I got all that P10. Uh, <laughs> Can I go any faster? Huh? Can I go any faster? Yeah. You were doing some good time, I think you went faster, but you were one of the biggest guys out there on the other side. <laughs> That's the fuel down there. I'd say strategically, uh, say it's a perfection in the end, mate. There's nothing in there. So we just give our winners a massive round of applause. So race end, my third but more 24, probably the most painful one, uh, but still an awesome race nonetheless. Uh, a shame we couldn't quite be competitive. Um, I just think we got a bad luck of the draw when it came to our equipment, but that's rental car racing. Um, that's, that's, that's how that works. I think we played the strategy as well if we could have played it. 
Um, and I think maybe with uh, some other things going in our favour, we probably could have challenged for maybe a, you know, a top five or more, really. But uh, it's what it is. It's still my best personal result here at Butmore as well. So top ten just means I've got, I've got to come back next year and do better right but uh i guess before we go i should say a, a thank you to a few people thank you to butmore first of all for being so welcoming to us as they always have been it seems with us uh degenerate youtubers it's uh, great to have uh, that sort of relationship going thank you so much guys for letting us come along thank you to my teammates which are pretty much the jones the bridal twins for ed and chris and of course uh, steve who uh, isn't here at the moment but uh, great to have them all here um and get to drive with people that you know I think we had such a strong team. It's our strongest team so far. It's just a shame we couldn't quite shine the way we wanted to. But uh, also to Jamie behind the camera who uh, helped out today. So thank you, Jamie, mate. It's been a good having you. So it's been a pleasure. Thank you. Uh, I'm gonna leave it there. I'm gonna go and drink a little bit and uh, numb this. <laughs> I think. Uh, take care, guys. Have an awesome day. See you next time.